Bats are some of the most fascinating creatures on Earth. They are often misunderstood and strike fear into the hearts of humans. However, bats are essential to our planet's ecosystems. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of bats. What are they, how do they live, and what makes them so unique? Stick around to find out some incredible facts about these flying animals. So what exactly is a bat? Bats belong to the order Chiraptra, which literally means hand wing in Greek. This funny name refers to their wings, which are actually stretched out versions of their arms and fingers. While some mammals, like flying squirrels, can glide, and humans use airplanes, bats are the only mammals capable of true, sustained flight. That's right, bats are mammals, not birds. Let's quickly define what a mammal is. Mammals are warm-blooded vertebrates with hair or fur. Most give birth to live young, which they feed with milk from their bodies. Like humans, bats are mammals because they meet all of these criteria. They are warm-blooded, they have fur, and the mother bats nurse their young. Bats have a unique appearance. Most have large leathery wings made from a thin membrane of stretched out skin between their elongated fingers. Their faces vary widely. Some have long snouts while others have short, almost dog-like faces. They come in many colors, from black and brown to reddish and even white. Personally, I think bats are cute. What do you think? Birds have feathery wings. However, bats' wings are made of skin. This skin is stretched out over finger bones and it's very flexible, allowing bats to make quick, precise movements. Bats use their thumbs to help with climbing and hanging upside down. Their wings are not only used for flying, but also for regulating their body temperature and even for capturing prey. If you ever stand on your head for a long time, you will notice that you start to get dizzy. So how can bats hang upside down for so long? Bats can hang upside down without all of their blood rushing to their heads due to a unique circulatory system and specialized adaptations in their bodies. Unlike humans, bats have one-way valves in their veins that prevent blood from flowing backward and pulling in their heads. Additionally, bats have a low heart rate and blood pressure when they are at rest. This helps to regulate blood flow and even when they are inverted. Their small size also plays a role, as pressure from gravity on their circulatory system is much less than it would be for a larger animal. These adaptations allow bats to hang comfortably for long periods, a behavior they rely on for roosting and resting. Bats typically give birth to one or two babies each year. These babies are called pups. The mother bat nurses her pup with milk, and within a few weeks to a few months, the young bat learns to fly. Depending on the species, bats can live for up to 30 years in the wild. That's a pretty long life compared to other small mammals. There are over 1,400 species of bats around the world, and they come in all shapes and sizes. The largest is the flying fox, with a wingspan that can reach up to 6 feet. The smallest is the bumblebee bat, which is about the size of a bumblebee and weighs less than a penny. Some bats are dark colored, while others have reddish or even pale fur. Echolocation is a biological sonar system used by bats, dolphins, and some other animals to help navigate and locate prey in the dark. Bats emit high-frequency sound waves that bounce off objects in their environment and return as echoes. By interpreting these echoes, bats can determine the size, shape, distance, and even texture of objects around them. This allows them to fly with precision, avoid obstacles, and hunt insects at night, even in complete darkness. Echolocation is so precise that some bats can detect objects as thin as a human hair. Most bats are nocturnal, meaning that they are active at night. These bats use echolocation to navigate and find food in the dark. However, not all bats are nocturnal. Not all bats fly at night. Some bats are diurnal, meaning that they fly during the day. Certain fruit bats rely more on their vision and sense of smell than echolocation. Bats are found on almost every continent except Antarctica. They live in diverse habitats from tropical rainforests to deserts and even urban areas. You can find them roosting in caves, hollow trees, and attics. Some even make their home under bridges. Bats are remarkable for their diverse adaptations and behaviors that enable them to thrive in various environments. 
One fascinating aspect of bat biology is their incredible sensory capabilities. In addition to echolocation, many bat species have highly sensitive hearing and vision, allowing them to detect and capture prey with astonishing precision. This ability is crucial for their survival, particularly with insectivorous bats that rely on these senses to hunt at night. Some bats also use their sense of smell to locate food, such as fruit or nectar, enhancing their foraging efficiency. These adaptations highlight the intricate ways that bats interact with their surroundings and contribute to their ecological roles. Bats have diverse diets depending on their species. Most bat species eat insects. These bats primarily feed on mosquitoes, moths, beetles, and other night-flying bugs, helping to control pest populations. Some bats eat fruit. Fruit bats play a vital role in seed distribution for many plants. Bats can also feed on the nectar of flowers, aiding in pollination. Some bats are carnivorous, preying on small animals like frogs, birds, or fish. A few species, like the vampire bat, consume blood from livestock or other mammals, but this behavior is rare. Each bat's diet is perfectly suited to its ecological niche. Bats have been around for over 50 million years. Early bats were much like the species we see today, but their ancestors likely walked on all fours before evolving the ability to fly. Over time, they developed echolocation, giving them a remarkable advantage as nocturnal hunters. Bats have long been creatures of folklore and myth. In many cultures, bats are symbols of rebirth or protection, but they are also associated with fear, especially in Western cultures where they're linked to Halloween and vampires. Speaking of vampires, the vampire bat is a real species found in Central and South America. While it does drink blood, it does not often attack humans. Bats play a crucial role in natural pest control by consuming vast amounts of insects, including mosquitoes, moths, beetles, and agricultural pests. A single bat can eat hundreds to thousands of insects in one night, helping to reduce the populations of pests that can damage crops and spread diseases. This natural form of pest control benefits farmers by decreasing the need for chemical pesticides, promoting healthier ecosystems, and protecting crops. In fact, bats contribute billions of dollars in pest control services annually, making them essential for maintaining ecological balance and supporting sustainable agriculture. Bats play an essential role in pollination, particularly in tropical and desert ecosystems, by pollinating various plants and trees as they feed on the fruit. While visiting flowering fruit trees, bats transfer pollen from one bloom to another, facilitating plant reproduction. Some bats also feed on the nectar. This process is crucial for many fruit-bearing plants and trees. Some specific crops that rely on bat pollination include bananas, mangoes, guavas, avocados, agave, and durian. In fact, over 300 plant species depend on bats for pollination, making them vital for food production and biodiversity in many regions. A bat can spread seeds through a process known as seed dispersal, which is crucial for the regeneration of many plant species. Fruit-eating bats consume ripe fruit, which contains seeds. As they eat the fruit, they often carry the seeds away from the parent plant. After consuming the fruit, bats fly to other locations where they roost or travel, and during that time, they defecate that means poop, expelling the seeds in new areas. The seeds are now separated from the fruit's pulp and can then germinate in their new location. This process not only helps with the dispersal of plant species across large distances, but also aids in maintaining a healthy ecosystem by promoting forest regeneration and plant diversity. Bats face significant risks from a variety of threats, many of which are caused by human activity. Habitat loss due to deforestation, urbanization, and agriculture has drastically reduced their natural roosting and feeding grounds. Additionally, diseases pose a serious threat to bat populations. White-nose syndrome is a fungal infection that has killed millions of bats in North America. Climate change is also impacting bats by altering their habitats and food sources. Furthermore, wind turbines can be dangerous to migrating bats, while pesticide use reduces their insect prey. These combined pressures have led to declines in many bat species, putting them at risk of endangerment or extinction. To help bats thrive and overcome challenges they face, we can take several proactive steps. 
First, preserving and restoring natural habitats such as forests and caves is a crucial for providing roosting sites and ample food sources. Installing bat houses in gardens and backyards can offer additional roosting options and support local bat populations. Reducing pesticides can also help to ensure that bats have a healthy supply of insects to feed on. Additionally, raising awareness about the importance of bats and supporting conservation efforts such as funding research and participating in bat-friendly initiatives can help to control and protect them. By creating bat-friendly environments and advocating for their conservations, we can play a vital role in ensuring that these incredible creatures continue to thrive. Did you know that a group of bats is called a colony? Also, contrary to popular belief, most bats are not blind and many species have excellent vision. Batman and many other cute animated bat figures are another example of famous bats. Bats are truly remarkable creatures with diverse species, important ecological roles, and fascinating biology. Whether they're using echolocation to hunt, pollinating flowers, or just hanging out upside down, bats play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Parents and teachers, if you want to learn more about bats, click the link in the description for more educational resources. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to get messy and make lots of mistakes. Bye!